See how they do, how you do. Faye Ellington here. I want to share something with you. I sat and waited for the results of two elections yesterday, November 7. One, of course, was the election from the United States of America, and the other one, you may not know, was an election held right here in Jamaica. It was within the People's National Party, and they were voting for a new president of the People's National Party. I don't want to share something with you that I found rather interesting and instructive. You know, small countries can have a great impact. Let me begin with the larger one up north before I come to Jamaica. So I waited on the results. A lot of results. What a long wait from Tuesday straight through till Saturday. But I understood in part why it had to be so long. They took extra care. Okay. And so the election has been um, decided in terms of uh, who should be the VP elect and who should be the president elect. Uh, Kamala Harris for vice president elect and the president elect is Joe Biden. All uh, no, Mr. Donga, wait for here where the incumbent President Trump has said. Not even say congratulations or to concede, right? His lawyers, though, have been filing some lawsuits and all of that. But he also, through his Twitter account, uh, had been making some very false statements that could rail up people and rile up people. So it's not only when we speak, the spoken word is powerful. It's like an arrow that you cannot pull back. But the Twitter, the social media is also super powerful and that can multiply in terms of how many people it reaches. So we don't hear nothing out of him, right? In terms of congratulating or conceding. But I didn't expect to either, so tell you the truth. Look to Jamaica now. So these two people, young people, younger than me by far, put themselves up to be considered for president of the People's National Party. They had the election, and yesterday, yesterday was the election, and the results came in almost around about 4.30 or, or near to 4.30. Lisa Hanna was there. She uh, did not win, but Mark Golding won. Lisa Hanna lost by a little, um, what, 300 or so, or less than 300 votes, right? One was 1,400 and something, one was 1,700 and something. But you know what was remarkable? When Mark Golding arrived at the PNP headquarters with his family, and he had officials standing behind him, as he spoke, he then said, and Lisa, he, and I'm paraphrasing, he wanted to thank her for being in the race and leading the race, a race the way she did, her race the way she did. And you know, if she were here, I'd have brought her up to sit beside me. Yes, it says so. I'd have brought her up to sit beside me. He said, I understood that she had an engagement in her constituency, and that is why she's not here. And I said, look at that. Look at that. Then later on, well, this is this morning we really see it. We see a statement from Lisa congratulating Mark Golding, the next president of the People's National Party. Politics, you know, just like all the USA's politics. Congratulating him, and I'm paraphrasing again, and saying, you know, she'll do what needs to be done to play her part and to unify the party and, of course, bring back love in the party. The party has been going through some challenges for a number of years in terms of leadership and different camps in who support who. But I said to myself, look at that. A small country with less than 3 million people making such a powerful international statement. So you lost the election and you come out and you say, look here, congratulations, Mark. Okay, that's Lisa. And Mark Sedona take him, 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 go to the PNP headquarters and making his first statement uh, as president. And he says, you know, if Lisa were here, I'd have brought her up. I'd want her to sit up here with me. You see how we can lead? Small country making worldwide impact in how to conduct ourselves. I may not say nothing more now. Faye Ellington saying, listen to me now. We have to pay attention to how we behave, what we say, whether it's through a social media account or when we open our mouths. And we have to remember that decency is something, that at some place, some value that we need to get back to. Faye Ellington here, just reminding you to Take care of yourself. COVID-19 still keeping or still a keep. Yes. So please keep your distance. Wear your mask. Do the sanitization business, particularly with your hands and your clothing if you've been out in public up and down. And take care of yourself. Walk good. Till next time.